Good morning, my friends. Today is Sunday, April 16th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. My cats are both outside, and I want to revisit this, this beautiful painting of three angels. These angels are at St. Savin's Church in France, painted in the Middle Ages. What fascinates me about them is they look to be both bowing to God, but also running at God. Their feet seem to be in motion. And then their hands are outstretched with their palms up and their wrists bared. And these strange beams of light coming from their wrists as if they're showing their vulnerability somehow while rushing towards God. Their eyes seem to be closed in sort of this adoration. Wings are upheld. A fascinating depiction of adoration. And the rushing at God reminds me of planets moving towards the maker dancing. Today is Sunday, our day of worship, and we move into the Gospel of John. Jesus appears in the upper room again, and he says, peace be with you to the disciples, and then he breathes on them. <sighs> Why? Why does he breathe on them? Well, we know that the breath is the same word for spirit, the ruach in Hebrew, that it was the breath that came into the child that was born, that was God and life. And that when a person is dying, it's the breath, the life that goes away. So Jesus must have been saying, breathe with me, live in me, move with me. It's interesting, I love yoga and in yoga, you're supposed to do this ujjayi breath and you're supposed to move with your breath. As you breathe in, you move. As you breathe out, you move. Always conscious of this breath that sustains us. Without it, we are nothing. We, we're, we die in an instant. Jesus breathed on them. He wanted them to be fully alive, fully themselves and fully part of him. He was within them and without them. Yahweh, the sound is our breath. Yahweh. And so the Holy Spirit moves in and out of us. And Jesus wanted us to know that above all else, the resurrected Christ is breathing in you and through you. Eternal life with every breath. Let us pray. Eternal life, breath of God, breathe in us today. Lead us, guide us, be within us and without us. Help us to know you are everywhere and you grant us your peace, your wholeness. We thank you for the gift of life and for the gift of this day. Bless the sick today, Lord Christ. Bless those who mourn. Bless those who are hungry. Those who are incarcerated, detained. Those who struggle with addiction or mental illness of any kind. We ask you to guide us to be your servants as we breathe with you today. That you may guide us to do good acts of service, of generosity, of kindness, that you would guide us to be wise. We thank you for this beautiful earth that you've given us. Help us to cherish it for future generations. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your son, who came back to us and breathed on us. Amen. 
God bless you. Have a great day.